Hi, it's James, the unofficial mayor of uh, Cowboy Country. Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you could be here with us. Tonight, I want to review Kansas State. Now, I'll have to admit, after doing a little bit of research, uh, I have to admit that Kansas State looks better than I thought they did when I did my predictions for the Big 12. So... There's a chance I might be wrong on some of those predictions, but I'm not going to change them. I'm just going to leave it as it is and go from there. Uh, in my opinion now, after looking at the stuff I did in Phil Steele's magazine, um, they're a true contender for the Big 12. Now, I'm going to give you three reasons why I think they're better. They're going to be better than they were last year. I'll give you three reasons why I think they may not uh, improve. So, I, I definitely don't think they're going to be worse than they were last year. Um, but who knows? I mean, they may finish 7-6. and six. They're, de they're definitely a bold team for sure. Uh, but the first reason I have for why I think they're going to be better is quarterback Adrian Martinez. Oh my gosh. The fact that Four-year starter, Adrian Martinez, is going to be playing wearing purple and silver. And, wow. I mean, climbing is the same as uh, Phil, um, Phil Snyder in the sense that he likes running quarterbacks. And Martinez, at, at, when he was at Nebraska, put up some really amazing numbers. Now, granted, Nebraska's defense wasn't very good last year. Or the year before, or the year before that, which is why Nebraska hasn't had a lot of success. But they have had some success on the offensive side. And Martinez's stats: he was seven, he was six seventy of one thousand fifty five. Uh, that gives him a sixty three point five percentage rate as far as completions. He threw for forty five touchdowns, but he did throw for thirty interceptions. Um, really. Will he have better receivers at, at Kansas State? I think so. Uh, he also is a dual threat, no doubt about it. He ran the ball 508 times for 2,301 yards, which puts him at 4.5 yards a carry. That's impressive for a quarterback. The second reason I think they're going to do, they could do better uh, this year is uh, Deuce Vaughn. Uh, that dude is legit. I've seen him in person. Uh, he's only 5'6". He's 5'6", weighs 176 pounds, but I'm telling you, he is fast. And he looks so fast. Uh, I forgot the name of the movie, but there was a... Um, where these animals were... were um, oh, the, something in the hedge or whatever. Anyway, the, the, at the very end, in order to get uh, into this lady's house... They give this squirrel a red ball, and he just takes off running, and it looks like everybody's in slow motion, and he's just walking around. That's what it looked like when Deuce Vaughn had the football uh, when I saw him. He's just... If, if Kansas State can shore up their offensive line, he's going to have a great... I mean, he, he ran the ball 235 times last year for 1,404 yards. That's six yards a carry, and he scored 18 touchdowns. So this guy's a legit running back. Um, I, I really wish somebody in the NFL would give him a chance. Uh, he isn't going to be an every down back in the NFL, but he could be um, if you run a two, two running back offense. Um, heck, he could be, even be a slot receiver. I mean, he's just that good of an athlete. The third reason I think that Kansas State's going to make an improvement is their coach, Chris Kleiman. He had success at North Dakota State. He's a proven winner. And as I said, when I did the preview of all of the Big 12 and I made my predictions, the one thing that Chris Kleiman has over every coach in the Big 12 is he knows people in the Dakotas, in Wyoming, and um, the, northern part, the, the, the northern states. He's going to get recruits that other people are going to overlook. And that's one of the secrets that Bill Snyder had. 
I think Chris Kleiman will continue that tradition. And uh, Kleiman's going to be a winner at Kansas State. And whether I like it or not, there are going to be some games within the next five, six years. If everything stays as is, and Oklahoma State's still in the Big 12, there's going to be some games in the future where Kansas State's going to win and beat Oklahoma State. I don't want to see that, but I know that Chris Kleiman is a really, really, really good coach. And he's going to have success at Kansas State. And quite frankly, I don't think he's the t he's not the Lincoln Riley type that would jump to go to a USC. I think Kleiman would would stay at, at uh, Kansas State for the next 15, 20 years. He's um, I really think he's going to be a good, a really, really good coach in the Big 12 and at Kansas State. I think he is the perfect fit um, to replace uh, Bill Snyder. Now, the bad things going for Kansas State, number one, is their schedule. Uh, they have to play at OU. They have to play at Iowa State. They have to play at Baylor. That's going to be a monster. Uh, and they have to play at West Virginia. That's not going to be easy. Now, they do have Oklahoma State at home, and they do have Texas at home. Uh, I am predicting that they'll beat Texas. I don't think they'll beat Oklahoma State. Um, but that game's going to be a nail-biter. That's going to be close. Um, the second reason I think they may have some struggles is their secondary. Last year, according to Phil Steele, they were number six. They were number 76 on his what they call a PDR, uh, pass defense rating. Um, they made some quarterbacks look good last year, and they've got to shore that up. Uh, they do have players coming back on defense, and I do think that experience is going to help them in the long run. Uh, no, doubt about, uh, uh, no doubt in my mind about that. And number three, their health at wide receiver. Over the last couple of years, they've had good wide receivers get hurt, and then they've had to have backups play. This may be a negative that turns into a positive if those younger players who are now sophomores and juniors, can step up and make plays and show that they've grown over the last, you know, since last year. But you've got to have targets to throw to. Otherwise, it's going to be the Martinez and uh, Deuce Vaughn show. Can you win with that? You could, yeah, you could get eight. You could get eight wins on just having a great running attack. You could. Um... I don't think you're going to beat Baylor or OU or, or Oklahoma State like that. You've got to be able to throw the football. But if if Martinez can play action pass off of the, the threat of Deuce Vaughn and, and get some receivers open, of course, Kansas, one of the things Kansas State does really well is to incorporate their tight end. So having that tight end as your drop down, um, I have some mixed feelings about how Oklahoma State's use this cowboy back thing, but I do believe that if Kansas State absolutely has to uh, feature the tight end in their in their throwing attack, they will, because they're going to put the, the absolute best athletes they have to out on the field. Honestly, having a really good tight end means you're there the opposing defense has to put a safety on them instead of a wide receiver and that puts one-on-one -on -one coverage on responsibilities of the corners so i don't know i'm just a little old school i, I think the tight end should be a, a vital part of the offense if climbing runs into the same situation as he has in the past where receivers get hurt he may have to do that again and and have uh, Martinez throw to the tight end or Vaughn out of the backfield. I mean, just a simple wheel route with Vaughn, if he's open, um, could get you 20 yards easily. So that's my opinion of Kansas State. I do think very highly of Kansas State. I think they're a good football team. I think they're a well-coached football team. And um, I honestly, you know, looking at Oklahoma State's schedule and saying, 
that trip to Manhattan is not going to be an easy week. That is going to be hard. It just so happens that Oklahoma State has a senior quarterback and um, and I believe a budding star in Ollie uh, at, at running back. So um, I do wish Kleinman well. I do, I, I do have a lot of respect for a lot of the Kansas State fans. Everybody that I've ever met who is from Kansas State uh, has been good people. Um, I got time. I guess I can tell a quick story. When I was a young, young soldier back in 1994, I was in Germany and um, I just made specialist. And uh, this guy came in and he was a specialist, but this was his first unit. And we're looking at him going, you're an enlisted person. This is your first unit. How did you make E4? And he said, well, I have my degree. And I said, well, why didn't you go lieutenant? He said, well, I want to be a enlisted person first and find out what it was like before I get my commission. I was like, okay. Well, after talking to him for a while, I found out he was a Kansas State graduate. And honestly, one of the nicest, classiest people I've ever met in my life. And, and that was when uh, they first hired Bill Snyder. And he said, oh, yeah, we just hired this new football coach, and they're going to turn things around. And I didn't believe him. And then I went, obviously, I went back to the States, um, had gotten out of the military by that point. No, I was still in the military, but I, I went from Lawton to Oklahoma City a lot in 96. Um, no, I'd, gotten, I'd just gotten out, and we were watching the, I'll never forget it, it was Kansas State versus Syracuse in the Fiesta Bowl, and the Wildcats just tore them apart. And I will tell you, everything that that guy who was from Kansas State said came true. Now, the question is, can Kleiman um, do the same thing and have the same kind of success that Bill Snyder had? And truthfully, I think he can. So, obviously I wear orange and black. I'm very partial to Oklahoma State. Um, but I have a healthy respect for Coach Kleiman and for the Kansas State football team, and I know that that is going to be a tough uh, road to go into Manhattan and come out with a victory. Anybody who goes into Manhattan uh, will have a tough road. And I will say this, September 10th, this is the key. If, you, if we really want to see how good Kansas State is, they have a game against Missouri. It's at home. Um, I think that's going to tell us if Kansas State really is a contender or a pretender. So, uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, I think I'll do Iowa State tomorrow. So, we'll do Iowa State's preview tomorrow and uh, work our way through the Big 12 until we, get to, um, until we get to the beginning of the season. So, thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye.